All right, we're going to project salaries for your financial statement projections. This file in particular is just a dump from your payroll software, whether that's ADP, ADP, Paycom, whatever you use. This is column A is my employee, column B is their current salary. And what we're going to do here is we're going to fill in the rest of the year. I'm going to have a financial statement projection that we're going to layer this into. And I need to know what the September, October, November, and December salaries are going to be. Now, this looks very simple. You're like, Patrick, why don't you just take the number that you have, divide it by 12, and multiply it by 4? Well, that you can do that if everyone's salary is going to be the same and you're not hiring anyone else. And the likelihood of running a fluid business that is that happening probably isn't good. More than likely, you're going to have new hires. You're going to have fires. You're going to have people that get new jobs. It's a fluid situation at a business, so we want to account for that. So in this example, I have notes on the side. We're going to have two new hires that we're going to layer into this, and we have several people that are going to get raises throughout this period of time. So I have done the initial legwork here where I'm taking everyone's current salary, dividing it by 12. And now we want to layer in these new hires that I have at the bottom, Joe McDonald and Kelly Smith. And then we're also going to layer in these raises throughout this time period as well. So let's layer in Joe McDonald, Kelly Smith. We're going to make the assumption they're all starting on the first of the month. So it's going to be a full month of salary in our projection. And I've done that for Joe. He started October 1st. Kelly is going to start December 1st. So we're going to layer her into this projection. And you'll notice on in column G, I have this run rate for our for budget purposes. I want to know what my base salary is going into budget season, I'm getting close to the end of the year. I want to know what my baseline salary projection is. So that's what that column is doing. It's taking December, multiplying by 12. That's my run rate. Now let's layer in these raises. I got Susan Walsh here. She's going up to 70,000, was at 65.6. And that is as of October 1st. And I'm going to continue going down the line. I've got another raise in November, 11.1. I'm making the assumption that all these raises are the first of the month. So this person's getting $170,000 raise from 150 layering that into November and December. It's just telling me that uh, the, the formula is different from the divide by 12. And then here, same thing. One, uh, the person's going from 100 to 110 as of November 1st, layering that in. And you'll notice my run rate. Uh, my run rate column is just taking December and multiplying it by 12. So I have everybody factored. I have my new hires. I have my raises. This is my salary projection for the rest of 2024. And I also have my run rate, my base salaries going into budget season. And I have this already linked into the projections. And those are the numbers. And I have my full salary expense for 2024. So that's an easy way you can project salaries for a financial statement projection and develop a run rate salary uh, file as well for your budget purposes or just to know in general what your run rate salaries are. Hope you got something out of this. Have a good rest of the day. Take care and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.